So, I've been asked several times what should one do when they start out in the game. What skills should they put into their character? What weapons they should get? Well guys, in this video, I'll be answering all of that as best as I can. So without further ado, let's get right into the video. Yo, 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 how's it going everybody? My name is Armand and welcome back to another Dead Frontier video, everybody. So guys, like I said, before we get started in the following videos, I just want to make this the comment of the day. So, this belongs to Joseph Vallo. He says, why does Armando remind me of the Grubhub guy meme when he puts on those glasses? It kind of does. So, um, yeah, let's just pull up the, vi uh, the image real quickly. What's this guy talking about, man? Hey, man. I, I don't know, man. Th does this guy look like me, guys? I know I don't have face cam on. I've been having some issues with the, with, you know, with my um face cam lately. But yo, come, come on, man. I do not have a pedal stash and a chin mustache or chin hair or goatee, whatever you call it, man. And not only that, but I do not have curly or those thick eyebrows, man. I, I hate this, man. I have a coworker at work just because he wears glasses. They think it's me all the time, but. <laughs> I mean, I do like, I mean, is that a Chick-fil-A sandwich? I do like Chick-fil-A. <laughs> but yeah, man, uh, congratulations, jo Joseph Ballo. It made me laugh. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> anyway, without further ado, again, let's get back to the topic at hand. So guys, this is going to be, well, not really a tutorial tutorial, but some quick recommendations that I have for, you know, those people that keep asking me, Armando, you know, what do I put my stats in? Armando, when should I move to four passers, second on bunker? Armando, where should I be looting? Blah, 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 blah. So I'm here to answer all that, all right? As bet as I can. Bet. Best as I can. There you go. <laughs> But yeah, I I'm trying to make it so people know what they're doing because I've been playing a bit of hardcore, you know, like no, no membership, no, 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 no money, you know, no pay to win, just straight up, just using what we have, you know, in the game, what the land has to offer. So yeah, in this time that I've been playing hardcore, it's been quite a, you know, bit of a learning curve, you know, like I said, no go membership, no credit. So yeah, again, let's just get straight into part one, which is how you should spread out your stats and weapon stats. So guys when it comes to stats for you know your skills endurance strength accuracy critical head etc etc i always recommended leveling up your agility first okay to level 100 now the one thing you guys should never ever do is spread out your stats because that is just horrible don't ever put three points in critical two points in endurance a point here three points there that, that don't ever 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 do that guys not only would it result in a horrible catastrophic future account but now you have stats that don't really help you in any type or way. Now, when it comes to fighting, you know, bosses and looting, you're going to have stats or skills that don't really do anything in those scenarios. So this is why I say when you focus on the skill, bring it to level 100, okay? Especially because in the beginning, it's not really hard to level up. You'll probably get to level 20 in less than an hour. I'm going to be real with you guys. Especially, especially if you chose a good, you know, character. And what I mean by that is choose, I believe, lawyer. And I forgot the other one that gives you an extra EXP boost. And not only that, but confirm your email you get an extra 10 percent. so guys when it comes to making an account choose something that gives you an experience boost i personally like uh priest or lawyer either of those two lawyer gives you a bit of extra cash and priest well the priest is just priest you know but they both give you some nice experience boost and on top of like i said 10 percent, you should have no problem leveling up your stash after uh you know uh, agility i like going to endurance so i can you know run a little bit faster after that critical hit so then every hit i do is three four eight times the damage and then of course i go to strength then accuracy and last but not least reloading all right that's just the way i roll that's the way i see it. i should be making an account because trust me when you spread your stats it's just no bueno all right obviously critical hit is always a must at the end and then you have strength so you can buy better and cheaper armor because don't get me wrong the meshes and whatnot they're good but they're overly expensive they don't really take that many hits because it's light armor it's supposed to be you know giving you a bit more agility but five percent really isn't worth it guys just go for a nice 40 30 k exterminator reactive with 200 or 180 uh durability i can't remember anymore but after that get an xt and you should be okay but yeah and then last but not least you know go for accuracy so your bullets actually connect but overall i mean yeah just just go for that really just just do that <laughs> and of course comes part two and of course it comes to your weapons all right weapons is really up to you 
but I never ever recommend you know anything like a machine gun or anything like a, you know shotgun because they just make not only a lot of noise but the machine gun is very very expensive to maintain especially if you're not going for a pay to win type uh, path trust me unless you're doing pay to win or you just play this game for a very long time machine gun just isn't worth it anymore especially with the wraith cannon out everybody wants to wraith cannon i get it it's fun but if anything you might want to get a scar but even then 12.7 is just it's just insane how expensive it is especially because now you know there's a lot of weapons that require you know so yeah just be careful when you choose your weapons in my opinion you should go pistol melee and grenade launcher grenade launcher so if there's ever an attack in the interior you can go behind the wall and just clear them off from there mainly so you know if you run out of bullets in your pistol you have an alternative for it doesn't require uh, you know ammo and last but not least pistol because it's quiet and some of those pistols do do a bit of damage for example the greyhawk cheap ammo too all right as for part two you know where you should go or when you should start heading there you know in terms of outposts it's really up to you for me me and uh, Francisco, when we first started the series, we decided to do nice stages up to level 15, 10. I mean, I got bored at level 10 and we moved on to Doc Stockade. After Doc Stockade, I got bored around level 20. Then we moved up to the uh, fort, got bored around level 30, 35. Then I moved up to second. I mean, now I'm level 40, I believe. But I think I moved to second on level 30. I can't remember quite well. But yeah, don't just stick around for too long. You know, not only that, but understand the zombies' pattern, attack pattern, i.e. the way they move, the way they stop, or when they pause to hit you. Same thing with bosses. Uh, when it comes to killing bosses of any sort, just be careful. I mean, everything has its own pattern, you know. Uh, spider always zigzag or left and right. Wraith, they always attack one way, and then you can pretty much see it from a mile away. Titan, I mean, Titan is they're just easy to kill. Mothers as well, they're easy to kill. Uh, when it comes to Devil Hounds and other things like that, Flaming Black Titan, it's always best to trap them behind walls, only because, well, they can't really get you through the walls, you know. And not only that, but I recommend moving left to the uh, side to side because I remember a long time ago they kind of put a restrictions on people just, you know, AFK while killing a boss behind a fence, or not even AFK, but just standing still. So they put a system where if you don't move for a while, you don't get the experience. So I just recommend moving up and down, up and down, just around. So then it makes it look like you're actually, you know, fighting the damn thing. But yeah, uh, my bad. Part two was supposed to be about when you should ch uh, check out to the outpost. But yeah, again, just learn the zombies' uh, patterns, bosses' patterns, etc., etc., etc. And you should honestly be A-OK, -okay, to be honest, at that point. Nothing should really be getting in the way of that. But uh, yeah, I think think that's it for part two just again be careful don't get too greedy and move on to second them from level 10 that's just dumb at that point like i said if you don't know what you're doing you're just gonna you know shoot yourself in the foot especially with the fast travel it messed things a lot but yeah again be very very careful in this part and as for part three where you should loot i mean nasteas there's like a nice hospital if you go a little down a uh, dock stick stock it honestly it's all yellow zone just you know just loot anywhere at that point four pastors same thing uh, just loot anywhere. I mean, back then we used to have the northeast end zone. It was a fast, it was a hard travel. It was a long travel because we only had four passers back in the day. And uh, I forgot pre cent 13, however you say. But yeah, uh, after four passers, you just loot anywhere. Same with pre cent 13. I mean, nobody really goes to pre cent 13, if I'm really honest. The only people that go there are the high level, so they can actually, you know, buy ammo and whatnot and meds when they're going for a top survivor especially because the wasteland is right there so yeah precinct 13 don't really touch that after that when you go to second on bunker i recommend highly recommend going to the southeast end zone it's a very long travel but it's very worth it you pretty much go to the white area and you can find a lot of stuff especially as a gold member but again if you're not a gold member it's still a good place all right just know that when you loot as a free to play uh, player your loots are unfortunately restricted i think i believe to level 45 or 49 i know after level 49 or 50 whatever they're no longer restricted but just know if you loot for a long time under level 50 you're gonna have a, a very very bad chance of looting something good so again just letting you guys know uh be careful when you go out there and loot because again if you're not level 50 you're not gonna find squat but again back to the topic at hand if you're in second on bunker go to the south seas end zone and go around this area and then of course if you're in four passage just go a little up and then make a right and you know there's hospitals there you know and big areas of the grocery market but overall when it comes to looting you just want to loot areas that or interiors or buildings that just have a lot of loot in them that way you don't have to travel with the dangerous streets of the inner city and risk dying so yeah that's all i really got to say for that part 
And yeah, I think that pretty much covers it. Part four in conclusion, just pretty much be aware of what you're doing. Uh, let's just recap real quick. Part one, uh, stats, don't spread them. Focus on one skill at once. I mean, you could spread them just a little bit, but if you're going to do that, don't just, just put it all over the place. Same for weapons. Don't just put five here, five there, because then you're not really going to achieve anything in terms of weapons or stats. And when it goes through the game, you're going to be really pissed off because you're dying every five minutes. <laughs> uh, again, part two. When it comes to outposts, I prefer the 10-10-10 ta uh, tactic, you know, level 10, go to dog, level 20, go to 4, level 30, go to secondum, and then level 40, start looting the Nazis end zone and the secondum, but I just remembered it's restricted, so just stay in secondum bunker until level 50, and then start moving to northeast end zone hospital, and the secondum bunker in the, and the southeast end of bunker in the, all the way in the bottom. And then, yeah, I think that's it. I think that covers most of it. Sorry if this video got a little long, but yeah, uh, that's all I got for you guys. I hope you enjoyed the little tutorial. I know I didn't go too much in depth, but uh, again, I'm not trying to make this boring, but yeah, this is pretty much it. This is Armando signing out. In the next part, I'll be showing you guys how to make quick money as a free-to-play player, but yeah, Armando signing out. I'll see you guys in the next one. Take it easy. Bye.